Welcome to 2019. Cheers. Happy New Year. Happy birthday to the existential ship. A year ago, 12 months ago, I did my first teroscope, teroscope online for Taurus, and I haven't stopped since. Since then, since December 2017, for the past year, all you amazing seekers and sages, because we're all seekers and we're all sages, have been with me in six homes. That's right, in the past year, I've lived in six places. Not only that you've been with me in those, you've also traveled with me. You've been with me in videos that not only took place in those six places, they took place in the woods, in the mountains, in lakes, and in oceans. I've had one hell of a ride in 2018. And the only constant that I had through this entire year was you guys. Not even my dog, my spirit animal that you got to meet in the background of my videos while he was alive, Oliver. He spent 10 years with me and he was the only constant in my life, but he didn't make it through the year. So this toast is also for him and for his spirit. I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for changing my life because the esoteric and divination and the occults and channeling and tarot and runes and numerology and reiki and all that jazz have been in my life since forever since i was a child in dreams and in intuition and in books and in experience and whatnot and i've did a lot of work with the tarot in israel i even co-authored a book but this is the first time in my life where i am Putting it, putting it completely out there, wearing it on my sleeve, who I fully am. I'm not hiding it. I'm not only showing it in specific situations or to specific people. This is me. 2018, 18, it's like the moon card. As a collective and as individuals, we've been swimming through our subconscious through our emotional deepest realms. Sometimes it was inspiring and majestic. Sometimes it was terrifying. Sometimes we felt like we were discovering a new world and sometimes we felt like we we're drowning. And here in the transition to 2019, 19, the sun card, consciousness, awareness, expansion, expansion of the mind and of the existence. It's very symbolic going from the moon card to the sun card from the 18 to the 19, from the subconscious to the conscience, from the dark to the light, from the inconstant, inconsistent moon cycles of existence and non-existence. We're going through a journey into the consistent, the never-ending expansion of light and consciousness and awareness and there is no fear. So I hope, I really hope that if 2018 was so symbolic and resonating with the meaning of the moon card, I hope that 2019 will be symbolic and resonating with the sun card. I just hope that you'll be happy. I genuinely do. Welcome to your new life, seeker. Welcome to your new essence. The moon card in 2018 also represented karma. And deep psychological fears and childhood and past lifetimes and the unknown. It was the, um, what I like to call it, the master of karma. And I feel like we're entering the Ministress of Magic. Liberation. Freedom to be our most self. 
the full essence of ourself with no baggage that keeps dragging us down and prevents us from succeeding, from prospering, from flying. Welcome to your North Node, to who your higher self always wanted you to become. This is a time where I feel like many people are, are reincarnating in the same body. Literally beginning a new life and wearing a new costume, but it's still you, the person. That is terrifying and exciting at the same time. So happy birthday to the existential shift. Not just my channel, but the essence, why I named it this way, the existential shift. Year one. Happy birthday to your new self. Happy new year. Happy solstice. Happy life. Happy everything. Am I saying that things are about to be perfect and constant sun be in your life? Of course not. We're still humans going through this experience. But it's one thing going through this experience covered in mud or in stormy sea. And it's a whole other thing just having a clear sight, bright stars to lead the way, bright sun to carry us through. It's completely different. For those of you who are not feeling what I'm saying or don't have any idea what it is that I'm talking about, you have a journey to go through. Your consciousness will get there. Reach out to someone in your environment that understands this language. They can show you. Drop your ego. Drop your mask. Allow it to come to you and it will come. I feel like there's something else I need to say. I just don't know what it is. I love you and I'm grateful. I truly am. Thank you for allowing me to do this full time. Almost full time, I still do other stuff, but nothing that I don't want to do. I make a living from helping people and from expressing myself so truthfully with no hesitance. And that's freedom. You've given me wings to soar above any pain. You guys are my everything. I'll see you around.